About one o'clock yesterday afternoon, we had one of our foot patrols that was actually doing a link up with the Guatemalan Armed Forces yesterday uh, between the hours of 11 and 2 in the afternoon. However, at about one o'clock, they reached an area about 272 meters away from the border on the journey going to the link up point in the Sapote 2 area when they heard chopping in the area. They went forward to investigate and they heard people running away from the area. However, when they arrived at the scene, there was one person there. Um, this person had a machete and he told the patrol he's just doing his work. He doesn't want to be disturbed. Um, the man suddenly got aggressive and approached the patrol with intent to chop one of the soldiers. Um, the soldier retreated so that he wasn't chopped. And when the patrol commander saw this, he fired a warning shot to alert the guy that he may get shot or wounded if he continues with his behavior. He didn't take heed to the warning shot and um, he approached another soldier with the machete with intent to chop him. And that is when one of the other soldiers on the patrol picked up a piece of stick that he had chopped and used it to hit the guy and subdue him in order to stop him from chopping one of the soldiers. After they subdued him, um, they took him in custody and sometime late last night, probably after 10, 11 or so, they took him out to the San Ignacio police station where he's now in custody. I suspect from there he may be handed over to immigration to face immigration charges. Do you know who this individual is? Um, the guy is from Las Flores, Chiquibul, over in Guatemala. Um, I will not release the name, I'll leave it up to the police to do, to do so if they choose to do so. No, we're seeing an increase or a frequent occurrence of these incidences happening. What is it that you guys will do to perhaps alleviate or eradicate this from happening? Well, the main thing on our part, what we can do to try and alleviate this um, situation from occurring is the people that are committing these incidents to let them pay a penalty for it. Um, in the past, they, they were released and sent over to Guatemala, but now what we're doing we, we're taking them in, into custody and they get charged and the police deal with them. Um, as long as they get the message that we're not going to allow them to freely reap the resources from this country, um, they will stop coming across. It's difficult to stop them entirely. Um, we will stay in the area, we'll continue to patrol the area and they will get the message that we're not going to leave them alone to have a free hand on what they want to do here in Belize because we're going to arrest the situation.